Hi everyone, I'm Mike, a South Florida based firefighter here with Drone Nerds and today we're going to do a general unboxing and first impressions of the new EBTAC Cyber Secure Governmental and Tactical Mapping Drone. Today we're going to take a look at the drone itself, how it comes packaged, what exactly is in the box, some of the payloads and get some of the first impressions of the drone. This EVTAC drone is meant to fly in disconnected environments, be operated by one person, and be deployed in about three minutes. It's important to note that this EVTAC drone is not like your traditional drone, where you link up to a remote controller and there's a live feed. You actually fly pre-planned missions with your computer software and do mapping missions. This drone comes in a military standard transportation case that is actually not that heavy. And I have four payloads over here that are in Pelican boxes and are very sturdy, compact, and lightweight. This drone will be great for first responders and firefighters to simply link up to the computer, pre-plan that mission, put on one of the payloads to map out and plan that rescue mission for any natural disasters, such as your tornadoes, your hurricanes, your flooding, or your earthquakes. Starting with the Pelican case, there's seven easy to get to tabs, and you also have wheels on the bottom for any hard to get to environments. Okay, I love how they have this drone set up and organized inside the case. We simply open up the top of the case and they have the drone and main body on an easily removable top tray. As you can see here, this top tray has the main body of the drone. Then it has your USB modem. Then we have two batteries up top here. We have a cleaning cloth and we have some of our extra wires down here on the bottom and then extra props. When I take off the top tray of this kit, below it I have the bottom and I have both of the wings to the system which are nice and light secured firmly. Then I have the SenseFly charging system down here in its own little compartment. Then I have a nice X-Series Pilot Pro Kit. This is to repair the drone on the fly if we need to. Then over here on my left, I have all these plastic tabs which essentially help secure our payload option for the camera. And then a couple of the charging cords. So I love how everything is nice and secure and, and fits in really easily. The first thing I'm going to need to do to get the EVTAC ready for flight is attach the battery system, the payload of our choice, and the wings. So the battery system goes up here and then our payload goes right below it in this little groove here and then we attach the wings on the side. This is before setting it up for your flight mission on the computer. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do is attach a payload system in this bottom groove down here. For demonstration purposes, I have the Duet T camera system right here. We have several payloads over here, but we're going to pop in this one. As you can see, there's one cord and it fits right inside this little area right here. So we'll put the drone down and we're going to pop this in. It is a little tricky. Okay, it's in and then we pop it in and it snaps in place. So it's a little tricky getting the cord in, but I was able to do it by myself. And we have the camera system, as you can see on the bottom of the drone. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is attach the wings. These are extremely lightweight and you can see you got a couple holes on the side of the main body and then a couple tabs and a red indicator right here that goes right on this little piece. So we're going to line everything up and we got it lined up and it pops right in. So that was an easy one man job. I like that. And we'll go and attach the other side here, line it up. 
and clicks right in. There you go. And to unclick it, there's a little button right here where you simply unclick it and pull it apart. So super easy, I love it. Let's take a look at installing the battery. So on the top right here, you're gonna have a cover. You're simply gonna press this little tab right here, the cover comes off, and then you're gonna have a little Velcro piece and an indicator where you turn this on. So we're gonna put the battery under the cover over here. Then we're gonna attach it. And you can actually hear the drone turn on. And then we're gonna put the tab over the top here. And there you go, we're ready to go. So once the battery is installed and the payload of your choice is installed with of course the wings, this drone's ready to link up to the computer and pre-plan the mission. So I love how quick and easy it is. It's really light with everything in there. And then the back propeller actually has a rubber band here and it's meant to take a little bit of a um, crash and, and bend a little bit. It's important to note that this thing is blue UAS approved and it is uh, meant to fly or certified to fly over people in the United States and Canada. So that is good. Right now I have the Duet M camera in the drone, which is a multi-spectral camera. Right here I have the Soda 3D, which is meant for 3D mapping. Then I have your Area X, which is meant for 2D mapping. And then we have our 2D, which is your thermal camera essentially. So depending on which mission you want to run, you have a wide range of uh, cameras to use for a lot of different situations and scenarios. This has been Mike with Drone Nerds featuring the EV TAC tactical and government mapping drone with its unboxing and first impressions. I love how light the drone is, how easy it is to put together, get in the air in about three minutes and have a 90 minute flight time. With the help of the computer software, you can just about map out any mission and you have a lot of versatility in your camera systems to put in here and map out the mission for your natural disaster. I think this drone will be an asset to any first responder or firefighter for the natural disasters, including your tornadoes, your earthquakes, your flooding, or your hurricanes. Get this drone in the air, map out the mission, see the hardest hit areas, and plan your response accordingly. If you have any further questions or comments, Leave them below or contact us at experts at dronenerds.com. Once again, I'm Mike. Happy flying. Have a nice day.